rider. I want to ride into the city on a journey, and I want people to lay their clothes on the road and adorn it with palm branches. Stemless flowers would also do, with the exception of lilies, chrysanthemums and daisies, for they make me sad. <laughs> I would like to arrive at the temple in an S-Class Mercedes-Benz, or at least an Audi A8, and let them anoint my head with expensive oils, once with an undertone of musk, so that I can perform miracles in front of people with a 120% dedication, both new ones and the old mainstays, like awakening the girl, cursing the fig tree, curing the sleepwalking boy, so that I can then sit with my assistants, partake of some lamp and drink from a chalice. Just remember that some of them are vegans, and that one of the twelve come to me at night and give me a kiss. <laughs> Problems. Art disgusting. All it does is bring problems. The curtain opens, the first frames appear. I open the first page and it's always clear. Some shit will happen. In front of my very eyes, Otello falls from some bullshit. Chapdell runs. Miss Julie is picking a fight. I know for sure no good will come of it. Page after page, Act after act, the family idol unravels, love dies, the horrible truth emerges, a shot rings out, the heroine goes mad. I close the book, I stop the disc, I get up and squeeze out of the audience stepping on toes. I lock myself up in the apartment, lie down in a dark room under the blanket. No one shoots arrows at my window, no one stands by my door with a wooden horse, Battleship at Yonkin does not float by in the street. I remember my favorite scene against the background of monotone music. Rosy bodies roll around between the sheets, their legs entwined, softly moaning. No one is suffering, no one talks bullshit. <laughs>